Yeah, I mean, we, I just think as me being from West Virginia, I was so green to the rest of the world. I didn't realize, you know, everything was so bad around us. We were in like a real, it's just really heaven, you know, compared to the other places that I've been to. And um, it's just like once I got there, I had to adapt to that whole new environment. And there's, you know, friends of mine that, you know, by the time we were 17, 18 years old, were either dead or in prison. You know, so I, I, I really had to just figure out how to reach 21. How can I get back to West Virginia? I gotta become a man, I gotta get out of my mom's house, and then I can make that choice. So my goal was just to get a job, become a man, not be a statistic as far as being murdered or killed or caught up in the drug and violence and gangs and things like that. And then I came back home here in 20, 2001. I got back to West Virginia. I started working at like Bob Evans, then Shoney's, then the Chief Logan Lodge. And so it was just like, I never seen myself lower than anybody. There was still just that certificate that I didn't have. I was just like, I'm just as good as anybody else out here, but I don't have the certificate to show you that. You can't come to my community and say, hey, don't do this and do that, man. You're not doing the same thing, you know? So that's the same way that I look at it. I can't tell my son to stay in school and graduate if I didn't do it. My mom didn't graduate high school. She always told me, stay in school, stay in school. But what did I do? Did exactly what my mom did. I dropped out in 11th grade. My mom went to the 12th grade and dropped out. But I had to show my mom, hey mom, it's never too late. You know, and no one's gonna make you do it. You have to want it. I realized that I had to want to do it. And I used to always talk to my manager like, Burke, I need to graduate. Burke, I need to graduate. Burke, I need to graduate. But the years started piling up. This pandemic was a blessing in disguise for me. You know, it really was. It gave me the time to sit back and say, Okay, take a breath. What have I not achieved? And the only thing that I could think of was graduating high school, you know? And I got the accolade of Doctor of Music in my home. You know, the Toya Award, 10th uh, Top Outstanding Young American Award. I have that award, but I don't have a diploma. Wow. So I was just like, okay, I need to get that. To make all of this feel complete, I need that one certificate. And then I went out and achieved it. And life throws you all kind of curveballs, but you also got to swing at some of those curveballs. And if you don't swing, then you're striking out anyway. So it's just like, you just learn to, um, you know, just uh, persevere through all the, the lowest points of your life. And, and I've been to the lowest, lowest of lows, but I still pulled myself up by my bootstraps. It's like a mountaineer would. You know, and, and, I, and I've achieved great things. And I plan on achieving even more great things. You know, maybe one day I might run for president. Now that I'm a high school graduate, I can actually do that. That's right. You know, there was a point in my life where I couldn't even try to even do that because I wasn't a graduate. Hi, I'm Landau Eugene Murphy, Jr. It's never too late to graduate.